What is going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I have a really cool video for you. Last Fit was kind enough to send out some um, lights for me to try out on my Subaru STI. I previously did the interior lights with LEDs and I was kind of going around my car and seeing the exterior lights and thinking what could be improved. And the reverse lights and the high beams are old incandescent or halogen style and they have got to go. So I have brand new LEDs. I'm going to take you guys along with me for the install and I'm going to be doing a comparison before and after to kind of show you guys what you could expect if you install these on your car and I'm going to give, be giving you my thoughts and opinions on how these perform and how they look. So here we are guys. Here is the package from Last Fit. Um, I kind of opened up this back end to make it easier to open on camera. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So these look like they will be my uh, reverse lights. They are the T-T15. It has the Last Fit logo, which looks really sweet. You can see all of these LED panels. Jump in to the star of the show here. So this is the... Um, 9005 and these will be the high beams for my car so pretty cool presentation here the box slides slides off really nice it looks like there is a manual with some instructions and some information on there pretty cool and here are the lights Again, the presentation is really nice. This is the light. Of course, it comes with two, one for each headlight on my car. And this feels really um, solid and kind of like heavy. You, um, it seems to be some sort of metal on both this uh, box and the actual light itself. The Last Fit logo is right up here, which is pretty cool. There's a fan, which should help with temperatures, I believe. And um, there are O-rings, hopefully for a nice good seal on the light. So next is to go ahead and put these lights on the car and see how they do. Install the driver's side headlight on my Subaru STI. I got a, a light here to give some extra light. I got gloves on to protect myself in the engine bay. The high beam is on my car, this one right here. So I'm gonna come around and find the connector and twist it and pull out the bulb here. All right guys, so here is how I removed the bulb. I press down with my thumb right here on the clip and I pull the bulb outwards away from the connector and it comes right apart. Next thing I'm gonna do here is install the new bulb. Now there are notches one, two, three, and there are one, two, three notches on this LED light. So I'm going to make sure they are all properly lined up just like this. Now, um, as you can see, you want it to go inside of the notches and I'm going to kind of wiggle it around and make sure it's seated in there. And I'm going to twist to make sure it is locked. The instructions call for the cable to be straight downwards if possible. Um, now the way I was able to adjust this is once the light bulb is clipped in, you're able to rotate it. So I was able to rotate it, making sure it's locked in properly um, and the cable is straight down. That should be the way it is fit according to the instructions. Next thing I can do here is connect the old connector to the new clip. Should just go right in and make a satisfying click noise. One thing I do wanna point out to you guys is that the polarity does matter. So um, these LED bulbs can go in either way. And if they are not turning on, just flip them the other direction in the connector and it should turn. So now I have this uh, box kind of floating around the engine bay. Um, I might want to zip tie it somewhere or put it somewhere where um, it won't get too hot because as you see, it says it does have a high temperature. So um, just keep that in mind. Let's see the difference in how bright this 
new last fit um, high beam is. And as you can see, that is incredibly bright. So over here on this side, I do have the Cobb aftermarket cold air intake system, and I have a custom box I made by myself. So it may not look exactly like this on your car. So I'm gonna remove this intake duct, and we should be able to get into that high beam bolt. I'm gonna use a flat head. I like to hold the clip at the pry under here to pop that clip up. The snorkel or intake duct of the factory high beam should be really easy. Um, I'm just gonna twist it. I have the new last fit LED here. Before I connect it, I'm gonna go ahead and twist it in to line up the prongs the same way I did with the other light. And I'm going to bring this light down. As I was turning this bulb down, the adjustable socket was moving and um, I tried to make sure it was locked into place and I had to move it back to kind of readjust it. So just make sure the bulb is locked into place fully. I twisted this and adjusted and the cable is coming out of the bottom for the best bulb pattern. This prong of the connector should clip right in. And just like the other side, I'm going to zip tie this to make sure it does not uh, bounce around. The box gets really hot, so make sure you put it somewhere that heat does not matter. I'm going to reinstall my intake snorkel. As I mentioned, this might be a little bit different for your vehicle. Um, if you have a stock intake or if you have a Cobb intake, I made my own air box for the Cobb intake, just so you know. Um, but the general properties should be really similar. Push down with my finger and lock it in. I made sure these are both locked in and this piece is secured solid. Let's test the lights. So here we are, my garage is lit by my daytime running lights and there is one light on in there. Let's go ahead and test the brights and see how bright they are. So as you can see, these are incredibly bright. They light up the entire garage. It is a pretty crazy difference. Here are the old yellow factory reverse lights on my STI. So here we are in the trunk. Let's go ahead and get these reverse lights taken care of. There are clips we're gonna to need to remove in order to get to the tail light. It should be pretty easy though. I pry up on this black part and then once it's up, I get a little bit of leverage and remove another clip in the trunk right here. Pop this one loose. There also are tabs up here, but mine apparently was torn off at some point. So there is a tab right here. You also want to not forget. There are clips right here as well. If you'd like to remove this part to get a better access. So I pulled back away this liner and I want to access the reverse light, which should be right here. I just twisted it counterclockwise and I'm going to pull it out towards me, being careful of the existing wires. And here it is. I'm gonna pull it out of its socket. I'm gonna send it directly outwards. The new last fit bulb that I am going to clip in it should go just the way it came out. And it'll click in. Now let's put it back into its socket and I'll twist clockwise this time till it clicks. Here is the new replacement compared to the OEM bulb. As you can see, it is much brighter. I'm going to put this side back together in, and then push the black piece in. Let's move on to the driver's side. It'll be the same process of removing the clips. Once we are back here, it'll be very similar. Twist the bulb out, locate it, pull it away straight out of its socket. It's gonna 
it should click in nice and firm. I'm gonna slide the bulb back in. And it should click into place. thing I noticed at night is how much brighter it is behind me when I have my reverse lights on. It helps me see so much better. So guys, I think the lights speak for themselves. They are super bright. They are really easy to install and I had uh, really not a lot of trouble with them. Just my only tip is to make sure the polarity is correct on the clips. Um, they can go in either way. So if you if it doesn't work, you got to flip flop it and just make sure it is um, in the correct um, orientation. But besides that, I mean, they are super bright. The reverse lights are uh, make it really easy to see when you're backing up and the high beams are like crazy, crazy bright. And it's really nice at nighttime or like when you're driving down a country road or something. So um, I'm really pleased with these and I appreciate Last Fit for sending these out for me to review. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. Peace.